All right, Jason, now to Decision 2021. We're less than eight hours away from the polls opening tomorrow morning. Voters in Detroit will be deciding the city's next mayor, uh, several city council positions, the city clerk's job, as well as several proposals that are on the ballot, including whether the city should create a task force to look into the idea of reparations. Across Metro Detroit, there are more than 200 races being decided tomorrow. You can track them all on clickondetroit.com and then watch the results come in with us tomorrow night. Polls are open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Police, friends, and family are searching for an Oakland County teen who disappeared in East Lansing. 18-year-old Brendan Santo of Rochester Hills was visiting Michigan State University over the weekend. He was last seen leaving Yakely Hall just before midnight Friday. His car was found nearby, but he is still missing. MSU police are searching on foot and also by boat because he was last seen near the Grand River, which had swelled because of recent rain. Still no sign, though, of the 18-year-old. Governor Whitmer is calling for insurance refunds for Michigan drivers. Governor says the 2019 auto insurance reform law created a $5 billion surplus with the Michigan Catastrophic Claims Association. If the $5 billion refund was approved, it would result in an average refund check of roughly $675 per vehicle. Well, the Insurance Alliance of Michigan responded to the governor's request with a statement reading in part, changes to any part of reform will have a domino effect that will change the association's long-term liabilities, increase premiums, and drive up costs at a time when Michiganders can least afford it. We'll stay tuned. All right, still ahead, a man storms into a Michigan convenience store armed with a sword.